Na lade bol šampión, preto sa stal kapitánom. Šikovnosti dával prednosť, spoluhráči mali z neho radosť. It looks like something out of a fairy tale. Cobblestone streets, a quaint marketplace, all in the shadows of a medieval castle. This is Trenčín, a city of 50,000 people in western Slovakia. Trenčín is known as a city where people dress nice and uh, basically they're making uh, nice uh, clothes back in, in the day. We had like a, a factories where they make dresses and clothes and uh, so this town used to be known for fashion. And then uh, as we were growing up, uh, hockey became uh, the number one sport in this town and actually in the whole country. Since the early 1960s, Trenčín's reputation has been built on a long line of elite hockey players who got their start there. All the big guys used to play here because they had to come come here um, to, to serve their time in army. It used to be two years then. Today, the most prominent players from Trenčín are Zdeno Čara and the two Marians, Hosa and Gabarik. I grew up as a little kid uh, in the Czechoslovakia and uh, that was great for my parents and hockey because we didn't have to buy anything. You know, we had equipment during the communism, we had the money for uh, uh, hockey rings, for the coaches, for the whole system kind of worked. Hosa, Gabarik and Chara are close friends who all live on the same street in Trenčín. Among them, they've been part of a remarkable five Stanley Cup winning teams in the last seven years. Aaron has three, BNZ has two, so five Stanley Cups on one street, that's pretty rare. I don't think you find too many uh, places or players that uh, came from the same area and won uh, championships. We had a great picture, uh, cup on a street and, uh, you know, three of us in the background, you know, guys from one street winning the cup. Chara, Hossa, Gabori, one great generation of Slovak hockey players. And now in Trenčín is Stanley Cup every year. There's one other famous player who came of age in Trenčín and who holds a special place in the city's heart, Pavel Dimitra. Pavel was my neighbor, so uh, I had a great relationship and uh, there is like so many fun stories with him and especially the ones when he bugs Marian Gaborik all the time and he always knew how to get him. Me and he were going at it uh, pretty pretty often. He was making fun of my teeth sometimes, you know, then I got fake teeth. And then I was making fun of, he had no hair, obviously bald head and then a lot of inside jokes. At the 2011 World Championship in Bratislava, Dimitra was the captain of Team Slovakia. Playing at home was his international swan song, the last time he would represent his country. That was really, really emotional, and uh, Pavel was in tears, and people like celebrated like that was that was amazing, you know. I still have a goosebumps. In the last game, people and Pavel Dimitrov was crying, and three months later, the whole nation was crying. We have uh, some breaking news for you. A jet carrying a three-time champion Russian ice hockey team has crashed near the runway in the town of Yaroslavl. It was uh, one of the worst days, you know, that that, that happened to me. Um, hearing that, I still couldn't believe it's uh, it happened. Text with him uh, the same day in the morning. That was like really close to the tragedy. I definitely miss him. Dimitra was like uh, one of the most popular players here. It was one of the saddest uh, days in Slovak history. Vždy budem na teba spomínať s úsmevom, pretože tak si žil a nikdy nezabudneme, čo si pre nás urobil a čo si pre každého z nás znamenal. The funeral took place in Trenčín at the arena now named for Dimitra. We all know what Pavel meant uh, for this country and, and uh, for, for this town and, and for these people, so it's just a huge honor. There's also a school named after Dimitra, a school designed for young Slovak athletes. Its hallways are covered with beautiful poems and pictures created in his honor. Oni ho obdivovali nielen ako hokejista, ale v prvom rade ako človeka. Jednoducho bol to pán kapitán a mnohí žiaci 
práve kvôli nemu sa dali aj na hokej. The latest player to carry the torch and continue the region's great hockey tradition is Thomas Tatar. He attended the Pavel Dimitris school. Now, he donates his time and money and seems a likely heir to the man after whom the school is named. Pavel was a huge, huge icon of, of Slovak hockey and um, I think he deserved to be to be mentioned to the kids who he was and uh, he was a big, big part of sport in Slovakia. Myšlenka na neho stále vrela. V našich spomienkach nikdy neumiera. Za hokejové teraz hrá. Aj tak najviac to tu bude mať rád.